our race has but two basic innate fears, noise and the fear of falling. Those terrible heights, why would any man in his right mind let himself be placed where he could fall and fall and fall? But all spacemen are crazy. Everyone knows that. The medicos had been very kind, he supposed. You're lucky. You want to remember that, old fellow. You're still young and your retired pay relieves you of all worry about your future. You've got both arms and legs and are in fine shape. Fine shape. His voice was unintentionally contemptuous. No, I mean it. The chief psychiatrist had persisted gently. The little quirk you have does you no harm at all, except that you can't go out into space again. I can't honestly call acrophobia a neurosis. Fear of falling is normal and sane. You've just got it a little more strongly than most. But that is not abnormal, in view of what you have been through. The reminder sent him shaking again. He closed his eyes and saw the stars wheeling below him again. He was falling, falling endlessly. The psychiatrist's voice came back through to him and pulled him back. Steady, old man. Look around you. Sorry. Not at all. Now tell me, what do you plan to do? I don't know. Get a job, I suppose. The company will give you a job, you know. He shook his head. I don't want to hang around a spaceport wearing a shiny badge and a shirt to show he was once a man, be addressed by a courtesy title of captain, claim the privileges of the pilot's lounge on the basis of what he used to be, hear the shop talk die down whenever he approached a group wondering what they were saying behind his back. No, thank you. I think you're wise. Best to make a clean break, for a while at least, until you are feeling better. You think I'll get over it? The psychiatrist pursed his lips. Possible. It's functional, you know. No trauma. But you don't think so? I didn't say that. I honestly don't know. We still know very little about what makes a man tick. I see. Well, I might as well be leaving. The psychiatrist stood up and shoved out his hand. Holler if you want anything, and come back to see us in any case. Thanks. You're going to be all right. I know it. But the psychiatrist shook his head as his patient walked out. The man did not walk like a spaceman. The easy, animal self-confidence was gone.